Well, hey there, it's Betsy, and welcome to a minute of wisdom. Hope everybody's day has gotten off to a great, great start so far. Um, if you are new to my page, I'd appreciate if you drop me a one in the comments so I can say hey and thank you for stopping by. Um, and I would love to know where you're coming from as well. And for all of those of you who are in the state of Florida, know that I am praying with you and for you um, as this hurricane is approaching us. Um, but today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your identity and how you see yourself. And my question for you is, are you maybe having an identity crisis? Has, has your identity maybe been stolen? You know, we hear so much about identity theft and how awful it is for the victims of it. Um, but there is also another thief that, uh, really enjoys stealing our identities as well and for some of us like me um, he starts at a very early age and um, he can really make your life miserable if you don't know who you are you know it says in Psalm 139 14 you are fearfully and wonderfully made and it says in Ephesians 2 10 that we are God's masterpiece so let me ask you this what comes to your mind when you think about that word masterpiece what is the definition that comes to mind for you? Extraordinary, exquisite, awesome, one of a kind maybe? Well, the actual um, dictionary definition is um, a work of outstanding artistry, skill, or workmanship. An artist's or craftsman's best piece of work. So in other words, God doesn't create junk. If God wanted you to be taller, he would have made you taller. If he wanted you another nationality, he would have made you another nationality. If he wanted you to sing, he would have given you that gift. In fact, <laughs> I joke with him all the time when I'm singing praise and worship, and it's pretty awful by the way, um, that I'm just, I'm doing the best I can with what he gave me. But here's the bottom line. If he wanted any aspect of your life to be different, he would have created you that way. He has created you with all the gifts, all the talents that you need to fulfill the purpose that he has designed you for. But what you got to remember is that a lot of those gifts are not going to be glaring gifts. But they're things that are going to have to be cultivated. So if you're beating yourself up thinking right now that, that you don't have any great gifts, you don't have anything to offer the world, that's not true. You might just need to cultivate what you have a little bit more. But you know, one of the greatest things that will ever hinder you from becoming that masterpiece is your inability to separate your who from your do. And what I mean by that is this. You are not your past. You are not your mistakes. You are not your bad choices and your bad decisions. You are not anything that has happened to you. And you gotta learn to disconnect your identity from those things and allow what God says about you to become your identity. And one more thing. <laughs> Wishing that you were somebody else. Wishing that you had somebody else's gifts and talents is nothing more than wishing for a life of struggle. You can't compare yourself to anybody. You are not them. God created them to be them and he created you to be you. So just start focusing on what God has given you because here's the deal. People are praying daily, daily, like they're praying right now to be connected to you to be connected to you, to you, to you. You are the one that has something that they need. Not that person that you wish you were, but you. And if you spend the rest of your life wishing for somebody else's gifts and talents, you're gonna deprive all of those people of the gift that is on the inside of you. So guys, just be you because you are amazing. You are a masterpiece and you are exactly 
the person that God created you to be. So have you found this information helpful? I'd appreciate if you'd share it with somebody that you think might benefit. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hope everybody has an awesome rest of your day. And also know something. Um, I One of my greatest passions is helping people discover their purpose. So if that's something that you're kind of having a, a tough time with, you're not real sure where it is that you're going there, feel free to reach out to me because I'd love to help you with that. So anyway, again, appreciate you watching. Hope everybody has an awesome rest of your day. Take care. God bless.